Hello and welcome. Today is the 17th day of January 2017. Welcome to the Silver Charts channel. But let's talk, take a look at Bitcoin. And I've talked a lot about this recently. So this move here is an indication of something because it can look very toppy when you've had a long run higher, which uh, occurred before the August 21st time frame on this chart. And then this one large run higher, leg higher, breaking uh, 800 to 1100. There's a almost 30% gain. And then everyone's so excited, but boom, one, two, three down days. So what does this mean? Well, it's in a declining 18 average. As I've been stating before, it was looking like maybe it was going to roll over, but you notice it never had the shape even close to it for the turn lower. So no indication of such, not even close to considering a short play. If anything, you're going long and you are long because it already broke in this resistance. And therefore, who knows how high you would be. And that's, of course, if you're playing the short term, not the daily chart, using the hourly chart, the 30 minute chart, maybe the two hour chart, using shorter time frames playing the break of this resistance because you're doing so within what is the declining 18 average on this time frame. But if it's not toppy, and we would know this, if it gets above this 900 mark and it doesn't fail, thus this is it for the correction. And maybe even if it corrects for another few more weeks, it's still a situation where a move breaking the 1100 mark is absolutely very strong because you had that 1100 point hit years ago fall down to under two, come back to 1100 at the start of this year and has barely came back down, that a move like that would be super strong. Now, of course, we've seen with silver how it had $50 back in 1980. It comes back to it in 2011. So this would be like saying at like $36, if would you want to buy kind of deal because you could look at it now as saying, you know what, I know this is going to be going much, much higher. Uh, why would I want to wait for a valid validation of strength in the uh, low 1000 mark when I can buy it at around 850? And if you know, you're right. But at the same point, if you uh, can get it cheaper than that, that's one of the reasons of the risk. The risk for buying it at a higher price is your waiting for a much lower price where if this thing just crashes and has many lower lows and at some point on the way down you're like this screw this this is down too much i was going to buy at 850 now i'm going to be buying at whatever low number so that's always the risk and reward and if it never does go down much lower then that means you don't get the 850 buy and maybe you end up buying at 1179 or something in that higher level than you don't get as much for your return or you spend more, something in that nature. And that's really what this thing is all about, is just doing the best you can to time the market and uh, strategies for your return. And a lot of times, you're like, okay, I got a strategy where I buy something every so often, I buy this every so uh, while, and I plan on uh, a few years or it's going to go so high and I'm going to start selling at 2000 and sell some more at 25 and if that's what uh, you're playing for and that's your strategy then that's that that can work out really really well in that sense because the gains that can come through this are really large now of course your risk for that is that this thing can get crushed to like uh, so badly this thing is set up where you can maybe not un unable to log in or the funds might be there but you can't do anything with them i don't know what negative occurrences you can have but heck you can have gains up to three thousand you can have gains up to thirty thousand and then oh, okay oh this thing's at whatever high number maybe silver is at the same price as only doubled or tripled yet yeah, let me turn this in and buy some gold and silver and wow look at my order it's like wow those are the things that can potentially happen within this kind of market. So I do ultimately think that this uh, particular market is going to uh, bust out and many people are going to get very rich from it. I think there's many people who have even heard of Bitcoin that are going to get rich from it because they'll hear from it next month or next year and they'll get rich from it. Still, with that being said, 
blockchain technology and all this stuff that it resembles, I think is a new wave of the future. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the chart at that. I'm just giving you my opinions and my analysis from how I read and make the charts. I put in these uh, the 18 average band and Fibonacci as my main method of uh, analyzing the charts. And that's the measure I use. So hope it helps and take care. Bye-bye.